welcome to another beautiful day in Barbados. I'm only joking. In the Caribbean Beach Resort at Walt Disney World. I'm going to get um, some breakfast. You can pick it up and take it back to your room. So I've ordered it on the mobile app. And when I get there, I just click on the mobile app and then they prepare the food for you. So today me and Ashley are going to Blizzard Beach. Um, we like to try and get a water park in pretty early on in the trip because I think it gives you a little bit of a break from the parks and gives your feet a rest even though you're still walking you're not wearing shoes sorry it's a bit loud yeah so even though a water park wouldn't really consider it as a relaxing day it's certainly less tiring than leaving at 8 in the morning and walking around parks all day till 10 at night so yeah we'll take you along with us and uh, show you the bits we get up to and also we're going to go to Disney Springs later as well um, we don't really have any solid plans for Disney Springs but we're going to get some food and have a look around the stores and the, um <laughs> You can pre-order your food so I put it already put the, in the basket while we want and then when you get to the food court you just click start preparing my order and then you go and collect it and this is the mobile order at the Caribbean Beach Resort and there you have it this resort is so nice we haven't had a chance to explore it properly yet but we're definitely gonna find some time to do a bit of exploring and use the pool. Let's quickly show you what we got. Nothing too exciting. Just two croissants and a coffee. <laughs> Going on the bus now to Blizzard Beach. I'm pretty sure I could be making this up. Comment if I'm wrong. But last year, I thought we had to get the bus to Disney Springs first and then to Blizzard Beach or Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I don't know if it's just this resort or maybe they've changed it across the board, but we can get a bus straight to Blizzard Beach from here, which is ideal. Because last year we drove because we didn't really want to go via Disney Springs and you're all soaking wet on the way back and stuff. But yeah, this year we're going to get the bus. <laughs> Blizzard Beach. Um, we had to wait about 30 minutes for the bus, so I would definitely check the My Disney app because um, we, we, you know, we could have stayed in the room an extra 20 minutes in the nice air conditioning instead of in the really hot bus stop. But I think if it's a 30 minute wait here, it's probably going to be similar on the way back. But... <laughs> For a locker you have to pay for them. And it's ten dollars for a standard, just more than big enough for a backpack. Ah, 
We waited a whole year for this. solo mission on Summit Hunt. at Blizzard Beach uh, around four-ish this afternoon. Yeah, it was so much fun. Yeah, it was really good. Water parks are just so much fun. Yeah. Um, and then we've just got ready now and we've had a change of plan because originally we were going to go to Disney Springs this evening. But then when we checked our plan <laughs> that we, we did before, UK. yeah, before we came, um, we realised that today we um, had in Happily Ever After because we weren't sure what other evening we were going to see it. Yeah, and next time um, we're at Magic Kingdom for the day, yeah. um, it isn't on. Yeah, it's um, the Halloween party instead. Yeah. So, yeah, so instead we are going to Magic Kingdom. Yeah, so, we're cool. going to watch Happy Ever After and grab some food, hopefully, jump on some rides as well. Yeah. Hopefully, at the plaza, because I want yeah. a steak sandwich. <laughs> yeah. There's currently no reservations, but we're going to try and book one on the way or possibly just have like a walk-in reservation. Yeah. In photo pass now, it looks yeah. down Main Street. I've seen some people's pictures and it looks really cool. Oh, I love Main Street at night. Ten minute wait for Big Thunder, it'd be rude not to. Magic Kingdom's really busy this evening. Yeah. We've managed to get a fast pass for Haunted Mansion, um, which is 25 past 9. And we quickly come over to Big Thunder because it's only a 10 minute wait. So we're going to ride this in the dark, so we haven't done that before. And then head over to Haunted Mansion, 
Which is we're all. back at our resort now. Our trip to Magic Kingdom <laughs> didn't quite go as planned. We were hoping to um, grab food at the Plaza Restaurant and then watch Happy Ever After. But the Plaza Restaurant, you needed a reservation, which we kind of suspected. Um, but we thought we'd try it anyway. And then Happy Ever After, for some crazy reason, neither of us bothered to check what time it was on. And we both just assumed it would be on when the park closes. At but it was ten, a- yeah. Yeah, but it was actually a quarter past nine, which we didn't realise till we got off Big Thunder and it was on. Yeah. Um, but we also went on the Haunted Mansion as well, didn't we, which was fun. Yeah, it's, ride. It seemed, it's better in the dark, I think, yeah. when you just queue yeah. up in the dark and stuff. Yeah, it was good. That was really good, yeah. And then we came back to the resort yeah. and got some very nice jerk chicken. Yeah, it was lovely. And, and good hot sauce. Very good hot sauce. Mm-hmm. Um, tomorrow we are at Epcot all day. Yeah, we're going to stay and watch Illuminations. Um, and we're also going to eat around the world. Yeah. Um, the Food and Wine Festival. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, thanks for watching this vlog, guys. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow at Epcot. <laughs>